Hi everyone, I'm Lala. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I am craving some goodies. Um, by the way, subscribe if, if you can, please. I appreciate it. All right, so let me tell you what's going on. All right, so <laughs> last weekend, Raul and I took a trip to Kansas, uh, Wichita, Kansas, to visit a friend. And uh, while we were, there, we were there, we tried a lot of new things, um, especially food. And uh, we went to this spot called um, Bridgetown Brewery. If it's, it, I'll, I'll just put the name here and I'll also put a link uh, to where they're located, I guess. Just to give them some love because uh, it was pretty bomb. Um, we had these nachos. These were an appetizer that my friend ordered. And um, I was craving them. Um, but to get to those nachos, I need to make a, a, a rack of ribs. So I found this recipe now. I wanted it to just a really, I wanted a really um, easy way to do ribs because you know I didn't have all day. Well, I had all day, but I wanted just no fuss. You know what I'm saying? No fuss type of a recipe. So I found this online. So you basically get a, a rack of baby back ribs. You um, clean them, and how you clean them, of course, is you, you rinse and wash them. But you also take that skin off the back. You get your crock pot, put it on high or preheated preheat it on high add half a cup of water salt and pepper the baby back ribs put them in the crock pot on high for four hours and then after four hours this is what you have now if you do if you do it on low then you would do eight hours um this is what it looks like after four hours I've never cooked my ribs like this I've always either done them on the, well I've always just done them, done them on the in the oven um, but I, again, I just wanted a, you know, no fuss situation. Um, and I felt like that, that this, this was good here. <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. Cooking them this way, I feel like it kind of dried them out. I'm going to show you right now a close up of the meat. It's not as juicy. It's more boiled. You know, when you boil meat, it just, I mean, you know, it's going to get a little bit more tougher to me. Um, I, the way that I do them when I do them in the oven uh, I feel like that's a better way to do them. But this is, you know, if if a crock pot is all you have situation as well. as quick. <laughs> all right, so I got some um, barbecue. This is a, actually a spot here in Austin, Texas. A famous spot, Black's Barbecue. I actually like his barbecue sauce. So I got spicy. I got some sweet and I got some butter put in the microwave. And then just um, put your oven at uh, 350 and, um, you know, paint your ribs. And then, um, you know, uh, put it in the oven for like 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. I, I did them longer because I, I kept basting the ribs so they came out drier. Um, but I also think they came out drier right out the crock pot. So I probably will not be using this method again. But if you do use this method, I would do a lower, I mean, um, like maybe three hours in the crock pot at high, on high. And then, um, I, um would um i would just do it one time to base them i would just do it one time um but there you go this is what they look like you can see you can just see from here how dry they are i mean it, they're edible they're not too dry they're just not as moist as i would want them or how or how i have made them before uh for for that dinner that was a loaded baked potato um corn with some cotija cheese Maybe. and mayonnaise, you know, it's, come and eat it's how we do it. So today I made um, some baby back ribs with a load of potato and elote. Oh, so, um, here you go. Mm. I have a loving husband. Good. He yeah. is just so lovely and, um... Mm. I know that they were dry. Again, they Tasty were edible. Potato. They were not the best I've ever you done. The, the rib but um, I feel like you know it. It was worth it to get mm -hmm. to where I was trying to go, which was my nacho. So this, like, this didn't even matter to me. <laughs> this this meal right here was, it was good, but it was like okay, I was just trying to get to my nachos, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, so let's uh let's move on. I know how much I love to watch him eat, so I'm just trying to give y'all a little bit of. There you go. All right, moving on. Let's go. Come on. Okay, so for the 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 nachos, 
I uh, have some diced green uh, peppers or chilies. Put that in the pot. I'm adding some roast. I'm only using half of this um, can. Well, I don't know what size it is, but I'm just going to use half of it. And then I'm going to use an 8 ounce pack of Velveeta. And I was looking for the Velveeta Blanco, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> Excuse me. So I just got this. Now, um, I think a recipe, a dupe recipe, um, or I'm sorry, not even a dupe recipe. When I went to go look for the ingredients in the menu online, I think I read smoked Gouda, that this was smoked Gouda queso. I only had regular Gouda. So I add about maybe half a cup to a cup. Maybe even, I think it's a cup, about a cup of, of a Gouda. And I added some cream, add more cream. Uh, just to thin it out however, you know, however thin you might want it. Uh, put it on low and put it to the side. I got the same barbecue sauce. I got those ribs that we had left over. I'm just cutting the meat from the bone. Now, in the original recipe, I believe they use um, pork shoulder. I feel like ribs, rib meat has a lot of, it's it's fatty and tender. It can be, you know, this doesn't be, but it can be. Um, I added a little bit of water. I just cooked it. Now, um, what I did wrong for this recipe is I didn't add enough barbecue sauce. I wish I would have added more barbecue sauce, but that's the only issue that I had with this this particular recipe. And then in the menu, in the description of this rest of uh, this uh, these nachos, they said they had Cholula um, sour cream. So I just figured it's just Cholula sauce and sour cream mixture. To me, it, it it wasn't spicy enough, but Raul said it was spicy. So, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my, my taste. I don't know. Then I got some um, sharp cheddar, like half cup of um, sharp cheddar and half cup of Monterey Jack for the topping. All right, let's put the nachos together. Remember, I made all the, that big old rib meal. <laughs> Just get this rib meat for these nachos. Here we go. Get your favorite tostada or tortilla chips, whatever you like. Get them on a plate. Now... Uh, we had a really huge lunch, so we're, we're just going to share these, this plate of nachos. I got the queso, the gouda. If you want to use smoked gouda, that'd be uh, better because that was in the original. But um, queso, get your queso on. Now, I wish I would have put a little bit more cream in that to make it a little bit more thinner. It was too thick. Um, then the, the rib meat, again, I would have added... Um, I also, oh, here's what I would have added. I would have added more barbecue sauce to top that. And I also would have added red onion. And um, pickled jalapenos. Just so it could, just how I like it. Put on your raw cheese and top, put that in the broiler for a couple minutes. I actually forgot that they were in the broiler because I was making my bed. <laughs> and that's what happened. But it's okay because it was delicious. And then top it with your ch Cholula. Um, sour cream and some fresh cut cilantro, fresh wash cut cilantro, and um, go uh, enjoy them. Let's uh, see Raul's response. Thanks for watching. We love you guys. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. We love you. Okay, let's see Raul. Thanks, baby. Dinner's ready. Don't touch it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Taste it. So these nachos are the ones that we got from that brewery when we visited our friend in Kansas. In Wichita. Mm -hmm. Are they good? Mm -hmm. I've been craving them. I want them so bad. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me get a good one. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 They're not exact, but they're a close second, right? Mm hmm. Mm. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye everybody. <clears throat> You're really good, baby.
Mm, perfect bite.